Hey guys, welcome to Hoops Fit. This is a hit style 20 minute workout. It will include a warm up followed by two halves of hit style training and finish with a quick cool down. Let's get right into the warm up with some basic fundamental movements to get our blood pumping, heart rate up, and muscles ready to go. Our first warm up exercise is high knees. This is a static workout, meaning stationary, compared to dynamic, meaning moving around in your respective space. In basketball, strong hips are essential for explosiveness. The high pace of this exercise is to really fire up those hip flexors. Keep driving your knees as high as possible and push that pace as much as you can. Our second warm up is heel kicks. In this high pace exercise, we're gonna be kicking our butts with our heels to warm up those hamstrings. Stay on the balls of your feet and focus on bringing the heels up behind you. Next up, we got half burpees with hip abduction. From standing, enter your push-up position and kick those feet out to open up your hips. This is a medium pace workout, so really focus on your form. Lunge and twist. Here we'll take a deep lunge step forward and touch your knee to the floor. Keep your back straight and rotate your torso towards your lunge leg. This is a low pace exercise, so I really want you to focus on form. Good job guys, we're halfway through our warm up. Let's finish out with our dynamic stretch series, starting with our hamstrings. Kick your leg to your opposite hand while keeping your knees locked. Studies have shown that dynamic stretching is more beneficial when preparing for high intensive dynamic movements. Notice the couple rhythm steps between each kick. Our next dynamic stretch is for our quads. Grab and pull your foot behind you while slightly leaning forward and use your opposite arm for counterbalance. You'll feel a deep stretch in your quadriceps. Use your foot and ankle on your standing leg to help you balance. Lastly is a great dynamic stretch for the IT band. Walk your hands into the push-up position 
Drop your knee underneath and across your body while leaning your body weight into the knee. You'll feel the stretch in that IT band. Walk your body back up and repeat in the opposite direction. Alright guys, our first hit workout, Euro Steps. It's a single leg lateral hop while swinging the ball across and over our heads. Perform the ball swing and Euro Step at the same time. Exaggerate the step length and cover as much ground as possible without losing control. This is a high paced move so make each lateral jump as quickly off the ground as possible. For these hand walk push-ups, we're focusing on the shoulder and chest muscles. Keep your back straight and do a push-up into a lateral hand walk. You can modify this workout by performing the lateral hand walks only. Starting from the middle position, take two lateral hand walks to the left and then back to the middle. Then two to the right and repeat. This is a medium pace workout but aim to complete as many sets as you can. Next up, we got our low crossovers to work on our ball handling skills. First get into your wide squat stance, dribble below the knees while taking small steps forward and backward. Try to dribble with your fingertips for more ball control. This is a rapid dribble under and between the knees. Stay low, don't come up for air by standing up. It's okay if you fumble the ball. Pick it right back up and keep going. Alright guys, good job. Get seated on the floor and get ready for Russian twist. Maintain your torso at a 45 degree angle, elevate your feet slightly, and make sure to tap the floor with the ball on each side. I want you to really engage your core and go as fast as you can. The goal here is to get as many floor taps as possible. Really push yourself. Really keep that core tight guys. Move the ball as quick as you can. All right guys, let's get ready for Hoopsology. We're gonna study the jab step. Let's get into our triple threat position. From here, you'll have the option to shoot, dribble, or pass. Your feet will be shoulder width apart, knees flexed, and shoulders down. First, shift your body weight. Then, initiate the jab foot with a hard ball fake. Then, transition to a cross jab, swinging the ball over the head with the foot. This will complete one set. Repeat this five times on each side. I want to really emphasize the pace here. Make each movement quick, crisp, and as fast as you can. After each cross jab, go hard into your next set. Every good player has a strong jab step game. Think Mellow and CP3. The key here is to sell the move.
Awesome job with the jab series guys. Now let's strengthen our legs and explosiveness with the squat hop explode. Get right into your squat stance and we're gonna do four pulse hops and then on your fifth hop, you're gonna explode as high as you can. Exploding when your legs are fatigued is always challenging and we are trained to be able to explode through that fatigue. Let's go guys, keep pushing! Next we got single leg ball orbits. Maintain a lunge stance and perform 10 orbits around each leg, then repeat. Ball control is key here. Keep it nice and tight. Try to go as fast as you can. Remember, it's okay if you fumble, just pick up and keep going. This is how you improve your game. All the way through. For this drill, always start with a single dribble, followed by a right side step, straight into a pull-up jumper. Next, another single dribble, this time with a forward step into the pull-up jumper. The third is with the left side step, and to complete the square, perform the same actions with the step back. This is now one set. Now repeat in the opposite direction. Really pump it out. We're almost there. Ten more seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Great job, guys. Awesome first half. Take a 60 second break, get some water, and we'll get right back into it. Alright guys, we're taking our Euro steps to the next level. We're going to add the dynamic aspect by taking three Euro steps forward and then three Euro steps backward in repetition. Make each step a controlled leap. Cover as much ground as possible because in the game, this will create more separation from your defender. Remember, explode out of each step and exaggerate the ball movement over and across the body. Keep going guys, let's get it! Good job guys! Let's get into our push-up position for our second round of hand walk push-ups. Just a reminder, you can modify this by skipping the push-up and doing the lateral hand walks only, or you can perform this on your knees. This is a medium pace workout, so more than speed, focus on your form. Keep your back straight and get into a deep push-up. Fight through and get all the way to the end. Push it out guys, push it out!
let's work on our V dribbles. This will build your single hand dribbling skills. Get into your wide squat stance, keep your body centered, and focus on dribbling side to side and below the knees. Quickly flipping your wrist with each dribble will help you maintain control. Push, push. Let's go, keep pushing. Grab a seat and we're going to do the scissors with ball workout. Here you're going to maintain your torso at 45 degrees, scissor kick your legs while passing the ball under each scissor kick. This is a compound workout targeting multiple muscle groups. Push a fast pace with the scissor kicks. Engage your core and notice how the ball and hand travels through the legs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. We're back to the jab step series, but with higher intensity. Find your rhythm here, but emphasize speed and control. Let's enter our triple threat position. During the jab, dip your shoulders down to enhance the fake. Here, we're training our muscles for these quick and sharp movements. All the way through, 10 more seconds. Way to get through the jab series, guys. Let's feel the burn with a dynamic squat hop explode. Take four pulse hops forward and explode on a fifth. Get right back into the squat stance and take four pulse hops backwards and explode again. I want you to stay in the squat stance throughout the workout. Alright guys, really pump it out. Five more seconds guys. Three, two, one, done. Good job guys. Alright, we're almost there. For this figure eight workout, I want you to really sit into your stance. Just like the scissor kicks, pass your ball and hand all the way through your legs. Keep your head up and push a high pace. Let's go guys, keep pushing. 10 more seconds. Let's finish strong guys. We got the square step with dribble, but now we're adding a pump fake. Just like before, take a single dribble, then a side step, add the pump fake, and then into the pull up jumper. Complete the square for one full set. Repeat in the opposite direction and push to complete as many sets as you can. To make a strong pump fake, sell the shot by bringing the ball above your chest. Finish strong guys! Five, four, three, two, one! Good game guys, great job! Let's slow down our heart rate with a cool down to complete the workout. Let's start with the hip flexor stretch with knee push. First lay on your side and grab your right ankle. 
pull this behind you to feel the stretch in your quad and hip flexor. To get an even deeper stretch, use your opposite foot to push into your knee. Hold this for 30 seconds. Now switch to your left and hold for another 30 seconds. Next, we got a simple plank. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Keep your body as straight as possible and don't let your butt come up. Ten more seconds, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good work. Lastly, we'll finish with a side plank on each side. Now switch. Good job, guys. Keep going, guys. Let's get it. Great workout guys, I hope you enjoyed it, subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.